The following is for reaction and review. Ruby and Ruby Chibi are owned by Rooster Teeth. Please support the official release. Hello, Internet. I'm Tormazimnus, and welcome to my reaction video for Ruby, Volume 6, Episode 1. I am so excited. <laughs> Before we begin, I'd like to apologize for how long it took to get this one out. I am usually very punctual. I like to have these out as soon as I can. Unfortunately, there were some technical difficulties on my end that kind of messed with the recording. I wanted to try to salvage it, but realized that I couldn't. And then, of course, I had Yomacon that I was attending, big anime convention in my area. So, yeah, that kind of put this way back on the back burner. And I did not like that. So I'm going to make sure that this time next year, we don't have the same problem. In the meantime, if you enjoy watching my videos, please be sure to subscribe and ring your notification bell so that you'll never miss a new video. And if you have anything you want to say, questions, comments, suggestions for the channel at large, please be sure to leave a comment down below the video and we'll get the discussion going on whatever it is you wish to talk about. And now, let us begin. In three, two, one, now. The humming of the Rooster Teeth logo. Yes. Oh, hey, is that my home state? Welcome to Michigan, guys. <laughs> Snow. Several different trees. Grass, hills, mountain? Okay, maybe that's somewhere in the Rocky Mountains for all I know. <laughs> okay, no, seriously though, let's get to this episode. Manticore! Sniper or fire from Ruby? Oh, hello! <laughs> Finally back! <laughs> Knocked that away by an ice wave. Take me later. <laughs> okay. Cool. Sure. Hello. Yes. <laughs> Not rusty. Nice. Okay. So the episode is starting with everyone fighting on a train. <laughs> Nora. <coughs> oh, Nora. Whoa. Look out! Enemies on all sides. Hey ho! Flower power time! Boom! Nice. Oh, great. Tunnel. Well, that's the evacuation signal. Oh, look out, Weiss! <laughs> Thank me later, she says. Nice. Oh, and we even get blue and red petals. Nice. Oh. Well then, scene change to Adam Taurus. We have work to do. We? Everyone knows what you did. You yeah. abandoned your brothers at Haven. Step okay. I don't think this is going to go... Taking orders from you yeah, this isn't going how Adam wants it to. The moment you got sass from the Belladonna girl. Oh... You pushed the Belladonna button. You shouldn't have did that. Ow. Ooh, that sounds vicious. Oh. Damn it, Adam. Are you seriously turning against everyone now? Ah. Oh. Blake. Yes. Blake, who's no longer as afraid of you as you want her to be. You kind of put yourself in that situation, Adam. You've only yourself to blame. Oh, hey, we're at a train station. Neat. It's been two weeks since the attack on Haven. Oh, the official report. Backstory? That the plot to destroy official Mr. report. CCT Tower okay. Was thwarted What's by the Gira official? Belladonna and the Faunus Militia Group, the Menagerie. Yes. The huntsmen and some students coincidentally visiting the head. Coincidentally, of the also we're head visiting. <laughs> coincidentally. <laughs> Leonardo Lionheart lost his life while trying to defend. <clears throat> 
those responsible yeah it's probably better that they go with and that story escape. than reveal the fact that he was a coward under this. salem's a thumb more to this report than i'm willing to say in this oh letter. a lot more now, oh a letter I'm trying to say hey we're on our way to atlas james there's a good chance james we'll there james 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 in case we don't I need you to know that we're bringing a lot more than bad oh, news. Oh, like General Ironwood? See you soon, Crow. Uh, hopefully he's willing to hey, listen. What's with the running? No, what's with the standing? It's almost time! And Ruby's just wanting to zip around all over the place. Oh, speaking of zipping around! <laughs> oh my gosh, that smile and positive attitude is so infectious! And? Ah! What an absolute waste of time! What did you <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is so cool. Northern coastline, huh? I mean, it's north, which probably means cold, so sadly, yes. Unfortunately. <laughs> Red was even envisioning himself at a beach, complete with a beach ball. That is cool. Oh, come on. Team Ruby won't leave your side for a yeah, second. Yeah, you're with your That's team coming. now. I mean, come on. No one's got to be worried with us around. Ah, uh, these two. And okay, I've got the guy with the gun pegged as Gaston. Dudley, of course. Who the Obviously heck is the guy with the mace? We'll be keeping everyone safe as we pass through grim territory. Uh -huh. Of course you will. Make sure your passenger car gets extra special attention. Oh, please. Get dangerous. Step off, gents. You're not wanted. Hey, I got a tip for you. Huh? Buzz off. Thank you, Crow! Looks like Mistral's really scraping the bottom of the barrel. <laughs> I mean, given what happened with Leo. A professional huntsman. <laughs> well, it seems like Way to shut him up with your credentials, Crow! Entrance to the caboose wide open. <laughs> shame to lose your job before it even started. <laughs> you get him, Crow! <laughs> I do hope those weren't Beacon graduates. Oh my now, gosh. <laughs> sometimes the burden of saving the world feels overwhelming. Oh man. <laughs> people like that come along and make me grateful that it's our job and not theirs. Yep. Yep. Very, so very true. Kids ready to go. Bike all loaded up. Yep. Just waiting on Blake. As all usual. Right. As usual, she says. I still don't feel like I deserve As the usual. freedom you and your family granted me. Oh. Well, you're going to have to get over it, Ilya. Saving Haven They're had saying a huge goodbye, impact huh? on how Faunus are seen in Mistral. Now it's up to you all to take the progress and keep. Ilya running. actually looks right. happy. The white fang made My the failure. gosh, yes. With your father starting up a new movement, I've got more faith than ever before. And you probably have an actual home now, which is amazing. Thank you, Blake, for everything. <laughs> I wish she didn't have to go. Well, she's got to be with her team, you know. I know, but my team needs me. I'm when do they not? Down the people responsible <laughs> for the attack on Haven and the fall of Beacon. <laughs> Always trying to save the world. <laughs> if only you knew. More than you realize. <laughs> hey, I knew your parents already saw you off, but where's son? Oh, Son's out with his guns out. <laughs> what? You didn't think I was gonna miss your big send off, did you? He definitely overslept. It's Neptune. <laughs> Would you hurry up? Need I remind you, we have our own trip to plan. Oh my gosh, so oh. stern. And then he notices know Ilya. Ilya. Be here. I'll, uh, I'll give you two a moment. Okay. Hey, almost didn't see um, there. Because, you know, the, the okay, camera flash. Wrong tree. <laughs> Wrong tree. So, uh, really going to vacuo. That's right. Seeing you reunited with the rest of Team Ruby really made me realize something. And what's that? I'm like the worst team leader ever. No. Me and the boys were cool with a little hiatus, but we gotta make a up little for little hiatus. Time. Shade Academy's not dealing with any little? problems like Haven right now. Plus, that means I can show the guys around my old stomping grounds. That's cool. I have cool. to admit, I think I was kind of getting used to having you around. Oh, really? I go where I'm needed. <laughs> Radiant sunbeams. <laughs> and you don't need me anymore. Aw, what's gonna mean when he says it like that? Well, when you say it like that, it sounds sad. I mean, yeah, it kind of does. Look, despite the drama and the fighting and the numerous attempts on my life... Of which there were several! I had a lot of fun. But you're with who you're supposed to be now. Yeah, that's true. 
And she's got to be with her so, team. I don't think I'll ever be able to thank you enough. I'm still, um, You're still, still working a lot of things out. Finding her way, yeah. We can do it with them. Yep. And in the future, <clears throat> who knows? I've got a feeling you haven't seen the last of me. I wouldn't doubt that in the slightest. I certainly hope not. Yeah. It would be a shame if he... Oh, hello. If he ended up know, out of the man. picture permanently. It feels like you're just letting her go. It was never about that. Seriously? Yeah. Come Besides, on, Neptune. Now that your leader's back and hardened from battle, <laughs> I've got to focus all of my time into getting you boys ready for the wastelands. Yeah. Oh, come on, guys. Seriously? Oh. And now they're on the train! The Argus Limited. Oh, hey, look, it's the Avatar. Hi, Katara! <laughs> or is that supposed to be old woman Cora? Gaming as usual, eh, Ruby? Huh. Is that something on her bike? Why isn't Blake even reading her book? She always has her nose buried right, in girls, something. I think it's time for an official team exercise. Oh yeah? Who wants to play video games? <laughs> I mean, if you want me to kick your butt, you're sure. <laughs> I'm gonna grab my scroll. Oh, uh, Yang. Here, let me help you with that. Okay. Blake, you don't have to do that. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh-huh. Here we I'm go. I'm fine. We're gonna be fine. It's just going to be a bit before things are back to normal. Huh, <coughs> what is normal but these days? I am glad we're all back together. Yes, that is really nice to have everyone back together again. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'll touch it. Hey, it's Uncle Crow. Oh, hey, Uncle Crow. You want to play too? <laughs> Kick your butt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. He just got that drink. Exactly what it sounds like. Uh, Just my luck. Not your luck. It's not yours. Uncle Crow's luck. He's got bad luck. That's his semblance. It's kind of his thing. And now they gotta go to the top of the train to see what's going on and beat back the Grim again. Or was what happened before just a preview of what's happening now? Actually, that's kind of a good question. Is this the first and only train they were on? Or is this the second train? I have so many questions right now. Ugh. You never go charging right in against that many Grim, you moron! And why didn't you back him off with your gun? Ah! So incompetent. What's the plan, Ruby? Don't let anyone else die. Yep. Okay, here we go. Yep, that's a lot of grim. What you gonna do, Oscar? I? No, I'm keeping control. Whoa! What's look out on? there. That's going on. Well. Ooh. Beast is on both sides. But hey, he's doing pretty good. Hey, look out there. Come on, Gaston, what you gonna do? Okay, armored car is now armored. And what do we got up the top? Turrets for days! Let's go! Alright. Alright, turrets actually seem to be helping for the moment. Oh, snake tail. That's why that's a Chimera type grim. Actually, if I remember correctly from what I heard, this one's apparently called a Sphinx. But Sphinxes don't have snake tails! Well, oh, whatever. Oh, command screech! The Sphinx is commanding the Manticores. Oh, and now they are taking out the turrets. That's just lovely. Well, they're no longer useful. Well, those were working. Why is it always something? <laughs> How can Good I help 
question. You can get that idiot to shut off the turrets. They're just drawing the grim toward the passengers. Unfortunately, they do seem to have outlived their usefulness. Yeah. All right, Oscar. Try not to get Bob. Gotta shut the turrets off. Are you crazy? No way. I mean, to be fair, looking at it from his point of view, those turrets are used for keeping the passengers safe and providing support. So, yeah. I mean, hey, from his own point of view, he's not wrong. But there are a bunch of hunters there with him, helping him out, so maybe he can listen, maybe? I don't know. Yep, there's the tunnel, again. Everyone out. Oh, that sounded not great. Ooh. Well, at least he still has his arm. Ooh. Turn those damn things off. Those things are keeping us alive. And those Grim are still giving chase. Lovely. How could you even see that from where she's standing? That's a side view, not a rear view. And the passengers are terrified. Of course they're terrified. And time for Ruby to step in. Please just shut off the turrets. Trust us. We know what we're doing. Considering the traveling they went through, yeah, I'd say they'd have to know what they're doing. Fine. Ren, could you use your semblance to mask everyone on this train? That's a lot of people. They might lose track of us. A lot of people. I've never attempted to affect this many people. Well, you've never had Jean's help before. Hmm? That could be a working combo, could yeah. Amplify your aura. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's an all right plan. It could definitely work, man. Don't look so worried, Ren. You can totally do it. And now Osbin steps in for a word. I'm afraid there's one complication. <clears throat> Grim are also attracted to this, which he probably didn't mention None before. Of your business, Oz. Are you serious? Why wouldn't you tell us that? I... It doesn't matter right now. Yeah, that's definitely going to get addressed later, though. Yang's every not going to forget. This train, we're putting everyone else in danger. Get the passengers to the front cars. You'll still mask the emotions and kill the turrets. We just can't come with you. If we cut the back cars with us and the relic on them, we can deal with the Grim. You just make sure the yep. rest of the train makes it safely to Argus. Okay. Sounds like a plan. Only if you'll promise you'll meet us there. <laughs> I mean, hey. Promise. This is Ruby we're talking about. She's not going to die that easily. What are all these people running around for? Something weird's going on. <laughs> all right, here we go. Huh. Shades of the past, Blake Belladonna. Time to go! There's the grid. Back on the train again. Three, two, one. Go! Stealth mode activate! Holy shit, that is such a broken combination! I love it! <laughs> Better pay attention, Ozzy boy. You don't want to get bopped, do ya? Sometimes you grab the bull by the horns and take it for a ride! Whoa, look out. Man, Blake is such a useful semblance for avoiding these bad hits. <laughs> oh, yeah. Their years of combat experience are really shining through now. Look out, kid. Whoa! That's dangerous. Ooh! Nice! And that space is still causing trouble for Crow. 
Ow. You know, it's a good thing the train isn't being used by anyone. Otherwise, him putting his scythe through the roof like that would probably be a problem. Go, Weiss! Alright. Time to ground this puppy. Look out! <laughs> Ready! Aim! Fire! 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 All right, keep it from being able to fly off and cut off its wings! Or freeze them off, that works too! <laughs> Can't fly off anymore, can you? Now, the finishing blow! Uh-oh, fireball, not good. This is so awesome! Look at that! Oh, nope, Fireball still got off. There it goes, part of the tracks. Ooh, good thinking Weiss. That would have been a lot messier if she hadn't used her semblance plus gravity dust to anchor everyone to the roof of the train. Oh boy. Is everyone okay? As okay as they can be given the situation. Yeah, still alive. Oh, hey! It's the Avatar! Or whoever that little lady is. <laughs> that sure was a close one, huh? <laughs> Who is that lady? I seriously want to know. Ah, uh, dude, yes, we got the opening theme! Semblance of work. Shadow of Adam still dogging us here, huh? Hello, old lady. Hmm. Ooh. Ooh, that does not look so great. Right, who did that? Oh, there goes Roman's hat. Okay, but what's she so pissed about? Ooh, what's this? Well then. Uh oh! Okay, so. I'm wondering what happened to get that fight going between Oscar and John, because. Dang. Wait, would it be Oscar or would it be Ospin? Ah, uh, having two guys in the same body is so confusing. <laughs> now for the actual end music. Nice. Dude, this music. Mm, so good. I already can't wait for Volume 6 soundtracks to be released, but I have to wait more than half a year still! Ah! <laughs> oh, this is so good. I'm really looking forward to having all the songs that are shown in the show, where you can actually hear the lyrics, being made into lyric videos by Flint of Ruby. Because, my gosh, yes. So... <sighs> okay. First of all, there's some stuff I want to unpack in that opening. So, let's get to it. Alright, so, the first thing we'll see here, other than Ruby Rose's scythe coming out. <laughs> yes, the team's all together again! 
Okay. Now, here's the first thing I notice. The moon isn't broken yet. Why is the moon not broken? And then it does break. And that's more or less how we see it all the way from season 1 to 5. Just a different perspective of the moon, depending where you are in the world. Now, in Veil, vale, you get this sideways look. But in Mistral, you see it mouth on. So it's like the giant gaping maw with all the debris that's either escaping from it. Or it's like it's, it's kind of like a deformed Pac-Man chasing weirdly shaped power pellets. Hey, now there's an image for you. <laughs> And there's Crow's semblance at work. <laughs> Alright, so. The first thing we'll see here. Other than Ruby Rose's scythe coming out. <laughs> yes, the team's all together again! Okay. Now, here's the first thing I notice. The moon isn't broken yet. Why is the moon not broken? And then it does break. And that's more or less how we see it all the way from season 1 to 5. Just a different perspective of the moon, depending where you are in the world. Now, in Veil, vale, you get this sideways look. But in Mistral, you see it mouth on. So it's like the giant gaping maw with all the debris that's either escaping from it. Or it's, like, it's, it's kind of like a deformed Pac-Man chasing weirdly shaped power pellets hey now there's an image for you and there's crow semblance at work <laughs> and weiss just seems so much happier in this frame right here running along with ruby chasing after her so i'm assuming that is hitting scene at two things. One is that Weiss is developing even further in a happier direction so that she's able to have more joy in her life. And Ruby chasing after Weiss like that, I get the feeling that they're going to be getting even closer as the season continues on. So I'm looking forward to seeing how things develop between those two. And then we've got Blake and Yang right there. And right there in the window, we see kind of like a ghost image shape of Adam. So clearly, either he's going to show up at some point, or the memories of the past for both of them are still dogging them. Because just damn. And of course, before this, towards the end of the episode where Blake is slicing the couplings between the train cars, she thought she saw Adam. So she had to step back just in case she had to get ready to fight. But then she realizes, oh, he's not actually there. So yeah, definite PTSD from some of the stuff she had to deal with from him, probably during her time in the White Fang, as well as after she ran away. More specifically, at the end of Volume 3 with the Fall of Beacon. I seriously want to know who this old lady is. The way it goes through her goggles and then Ruby's silver eyes, though, I'm guessing there is a connection there. So if she is indeed a silver-eyed warrior, or was a silver-eyed warrior before having lost her eyes due to one reason or another, perhaps she could tell Ruby something about her own silver eyes. Which would definitely be awesome. And those things... I don't think we've seen Grimm like that before. But that puts me in mind of Cinder's arm that she got when she lost her left arm during her fight against Ruby in th at the Fall of Beacon when Ruby went silver-eyed rage mode. And I seriously want to see her properly tap into that power... <gasps> Oh my gosh, just mm, so beyond another level. Hey, Roman Torchwick's hat. And it looks like it gets fired at or slashed at. So who knows what that's about. 
But I look forward to finding out. Maybe Roman's alive. That would be nice. And then there's all these umbrellas. Hey. You think maybe Neil's blending in with a crowd? <laughs> I mean, she's got an umbrella as her weapon. So, hey. It could work. And, of course, here's Adam. Wondering what's going to happen with him. And, again, why is she getting pissed? And what is with the power radiating from her eyes like that? Was she a maiden at some point before she became a Grim Queen? Does that mean that the Grim Queen was initially a human? Do the Grim... Does the Grim Queen have the same kind of form as a Goa'uld from Stargate, where it just invades a host body, takes it over, and uses it for its own purposes? If so, does that mean that Salem took over the body of a Winter Maiden? Or any other kind of maiden, for that matter. It could be any one of them. We don't know. But while this is different from the kind of overflowing power that we see from Maiden Eyes, both in Volume 3 as well as Volume 5, this still seems to be hinting at something, and I'm not entirely sure what it is. Again, really looking forward to finding out. And this guy right here, that kind of looks like, hmm, I'm wondering if that could be Ozpin's cane. If so, that means the cane would have been a scepter before, but then of course, we all remember the World of Remnant video that covered the Great War and how the King of Vale just stepped in and began bodying people left, right, and center, and by the end of it, everyone bowed to him. So clearly, that king at that time, who ended that war, was possibly one of Ozpin's past lives. <clears throat> and speaking of past lives, we see three other guys before Ozpin. <clears throat> so... I'm guessing that each of these are a past life that he had. Question is, are these just past lives? Or was he also in different areas of the world for each life? Because this one right here on the left, that looks like an outfit that would be in either Mistral or Atlas. One of the two. And the guy with the armor on the right, that could be, that could just be during the time of kings, for all we know. But it could also mean that he was somewhere where there was a lot of fighting. Maybe he was a knight in one life. I don't know. And then there's this guy on the right. This guy on the right, just before Ozpin. He gives me a Geppetto vibe. So... I'm seriously wondering what that's about. And then, Ozpin here, and there's Oscar, and there's Jean getting ready to body Oscar. The question is, why? What led to this moment? And how soon will we end up seeing it? Because, damn. And, and is this just pent-up negative feelings from everything that's happened all the way up to now? Or is there a specific thing that happened that set him off like this? So many questions. I'm guessing it's probably a combination of the two. Just like, how could you put people in danger sort of thing? Like, again, I mean, Ozpin was responsible in a way for what happened to Pyrrha. I mean, okay, yes, Pyrrha did decide to go face Cinder alone. <coughs> But at the same time, before that, Ozpin kind of went to put a target on her back by trying to make her the new Fall Maiden. And of course, there was no way of knowing how that would go. Pyrrha could have been completely changed by that, but of course, he warned her about that. And then, of course, I am reminded of the conversation that Oscar had with Hazel, where he said that Gretchen made her choice, even knowing the risks and that he's making the same choice too. So I'm wondering if Jean's going to kind of become like Hazel Light. Because like Yang, she's kind of like Raven Light. She's not full Raven. But 
there are similarities. And where Hazel lost his sister, John lost his girlfriend, someone that he cared for more than anything, even though it took him forever to realize it because he was still chasing after Weiss this whole time. Holy crap. Just, oh, so many things. Anyway, continuing on. Okay, fighting on the train, we've seen that. And then there's this lady here, and we can clearly see that there are sharp nails extending from her hand, bandaged hand, and Cinder had that same thing, so I'm thinking maybe Cinder actually is back. Maybe she was able to save herself from that fall. Maybe Maiden Powers don't have anything to do with Aura. Which honestly wouldn't surprise me at all. Yes, you could probably use Aura to make the Maiden Powers even stronger, but the Maiden Powers are magic. Aura is not. They're two completely separate things. And Raven did not make damn sure that Cinder was dead before she left. Then again, she was dealing with the whirlwind of emotions because of the confrontation with Yang. And how Yang called her out on literally every single tiny piece of her bullcrap and hypocrisy. So now Cinder's alive, probably, most likely. And yeah, that kind of looks like one of her swords. So I'm going to say, yeah, she probably is alive at this point. I wonder what part she's going to end up playing in this, though. And ending segment with all of the flashy bits showing everyone together, though for how long? That's the question. Well, this has been fun. But now... I've gone over everything. You've got my initial reaction. I've gone over the stuff that we've seen in the opening sequence. And I've got some thoughts. I've got some opinions. I've got some hopes. We'll just have to wait and see what happens as the season progresses. But until then, here endeth the video. As always, if you enjoy watching, please be sure to subscribe for more. And ring that notification bell so you'll never miss a new video. And until next time... This is Torma Zemnis signing off. Stay frosty, my friend.